Th this program is on the cutting edge of technology for Seminole County and it is designed to give students the opportunities to learn and apply that which they've learned in the classroom uh, at a much higher level. Uh, it is, to me, the very definition of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, uh, wrapped around this advanced, hands-on, applied technology program that we've developed for Seminole County. What makes it even more interesting to me is their appeal uh, of the coursework that we're teaching is what business wants these students to learn uh, and the demand for the job not only for today but also for tomorrow. It takes uh, students from the start, the design process, all the way through completion, the actual production of a product. Activities are hands-on based activities. Some things we're going to do this year are going to be based on NASA and the HUNCH program through NASA. Other things are just introductory problem solving. All of our local manufacturers who hire um, students out of high school or college graduates um, really want workers who not only have a technical skill but also know how to communicate with customers um, and um, who know how to think on their feet and troubleshoot, solve problems, make processes more efficient. And so any of those skills that you can learn as a high school student will just make you more marketable um, either as a college student uh, while you're working or again going straight into a job right after high school. If I was giving advice to a student thinking about entering this career field, it would be to begin early and to have a broad-based understanding of what's going on rather than learning specifics and details of how something is made today, to learn the principles of how things are made in general and how they're developed. That way they have skills that are portable but also they have longevity. If you learn a simple task, you can do that task until it changes. But if you learn the principles behind a task, then you can learn to grow with an industry. Manufacturing should be studied in the high school level because it's a huge asset for people coming out of school that don't have the ways and means to go to college, and they can get into manufacturing. I didn't go to college. I'm not a college graduate. Right? I went straight from high school and started working for the family business sweeping the floors. So the reality of it is, is that I learned the hard way, right? You learn from the school of hard knocks, and you learn as you go and as you continue to grow. So It opens doors that some students that struggle in other areas might not get through those doors. Um, it also gives those students that are very good with their hands, uh, problem-solving techniques, uh, an avenue for perhaps an engineering degree. This program is going to be one of a kind in Seminole County because nobody in this area has anything close to this, nothing resembling this. Yes, they can get engineering. Yes, they can understand the basis of perhaps um, manufacturing. But we're going to actually have real world machines that you would find on floors today in factories and manufacturing, advanced manufacturing plants, whether in Sanford, in Lake Mary, in Tennessee at the Siemens Lab, up in Tennessee at a manufacturer of Nissan or BMW in South Carolina. You're going to find very similar machines, be it robotic be it um, a lathe or any other equipment. We plan on having and introducing more and more and more real-world application and opportunities for our students. Again, it can only be one of a kind in Seminole County, but most importantly, one of a kind in Central Florida.